Well, behind me, I got my gasification boiler that I built homemade. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at it, at it today. Uh, it's been running two seasons, and we're going to be looking inside. I have some air pipes I need to replace, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to look here inside the gasification boiler. Uh, shed a little light on what's going on here. There's the inside main combustion chamber. Uh, air pipes are made out of carbon steel and you can see it's gotten uh, pretty burnt out here uh, last season I unplugged or actually plugged up that hole there just to keep the air kind of stabilized and equalized right here's the floor I have uh, about a one inch slot and I got a little bar that runs over the top to kind of Prevent. I actually bent it up a little bit. It's supposed to be more straight here. But uh, to take a look at that to explain this a little bit better. My secondary air comes in right here. Heated secondary air. There's one port here and one port there. Comes in here, blends in right here, blends in back here. All your gases go down through here. And then after that, this all runs super hot under here. All this piping here is 316 stainless. A little bit higher grade material to withstand the heat. Uh, today what I have to do is replace these air pipes. I'm going to make them out of stainless, but I have one issue. I can't get back down in here. I have this. This is all casted or it's plastic, uh, refractory work, very dense material. It's got needles in, very hard to break up. So I'm gonna cut that there, plug it off, cut it back here, plug it off, drill a hole in the side, back over here, come in with a port that comes right along the side here, blow the air down, come in on the other side, and we'll sweep it also. So there's gonna be a pipe I have on both sides. We'll get started here. Okay, here I got my pipe partially installed. As you can see, right here. got 11 holes there. <clears throat> These are going to direct the airflow down. We're going to get this all welded together and put some valves on. The air piping, primary air piping replaced. Uh, got two inch stainless steel pipe. I did uh, put two ball valves in so I can kind of control the air before I didn't have any control of the air. As you can see, I got the pipes coming in the front here now, instead of across the sides. Uh, actually, it looks pretty good. I got two sets of holes. I think there's 11 holes on each pipe. That's what I had last time. Worked pretty good. Uh, I'm going to weld a quarter inch plate on here yet. At an angle. Same angle as the refractory on the floor, just to keep all the coals from rolling down. Should aid help out pretty good. But uh, got that completed, and we're gonna try her out some point here in the future. But. Okay, so here is my bypass. Bypass is closed right now. Okay, I... And that's all it is. And that's closed. Okay, I go open. This is what I use for when I load. Boiler up. 
keeps all the gases going out there like a normal stove. And you can see I don't have much at all. I mean, might be a little leakage around the door. Then all that goes up here and out the chimney. And then you can see there is where the chimneys would be connected to the top. So, uh, that's the, that's the boiler. Uh, my doors, kind of a unique door. They seal very well. Uh, everything pushes in the center here. If you look here. Close the door. And tighten her down really good. Same way as the secondary. That's the secondary chamber. Doors are made the same. And there you have it. Okay, here is the top of the heat exchanger. And this is still from last year's run. That's the ash that was up on there. Uh, those are my turbulators. They're just a chain. I got little stubs welded on so I can hook a DeWalt drill on there and spin the chain and cleans the tubes out. Do that maybe once a month. Uh, right here, if you can see, that's also from last year. I haven't cleaned the chimney out. Uh, I plan to kind of sweep that a little bit, clean it out, but as you can see, it runs pretty cool. Uh, paint's all good yet. Huh? chimney and then back here we just got some cobbled up piping yet I'm gonna hard pipe it eventually here but still have not got to that and then come on down here we got the bottom of the heat exchanger I did clean it out a little bit of ash still fell out but you got your secondary air pipes here. There's a heat exchanger back here along the side of the secondary combustion. Superheats the air, comes out here. I got myself a little valve here to control the secondary. Then it shoots back here and then goes back to another heat exchanger back in there and then gets put into the secondary combustion chamber which is right down here and that's where the old slot in the floor is and then it comes in here and up the tubes everything's filled with water all these chains usually glow beet red 